Hey, welcome back to the channel. So recently on YouTube, there have been a ton of videos demonstrating how you can use a 2020 iPad Pro as a laptop replacement, and even as a desktop in some cases. But did you know that you can do much of that with a standard 2018 iPad? Today, we're gonna to be looking at using a 2018 non-pro iPad as a laptop replacement. All the hardware and software that I talk about in this video are gonna be listed in the description. And please leave a comment below if you have any questions or comments as I go through this. Now, obviously the 2018 iPad is not as powerful as the iPad Pro in terms of processor and RAM, but that doesn't mean it's not a capable machine. Things like the Apple Pencil still work great, most of the applications work great, and you have the option for external devices like you do on the Pro. Now there have been a ton of changes that have gone into iPad OS to make it more like a desktop style operating system. For instance, Safari on the iPad is now a desktop class browser showing you the desktop versions of the websites and not just the mobile version. The new files app, while it does still need some work, uh, it allows you to manage your files much better. You can access your downloaded files, copy files from an external drive or even an SD card, and even connect to network shares now to uh, copy files back and forth between a network share. Another great iPad OS update is the new mouse support that allows you to easily connect a Bluetooth or wired mouse, I'll talk more on that later, uh, to the iPad. It's recognized out of the box. Using the mouse is a little bit different than on a desktop as it kind of snaps to selections rather than just uh, having a mouse cursor over them, but that's something that you get used to very, very quickly. Now this part is nothing new, but along with the mouse, you can also connect a Bluetooth keyboard and there are a ton of Bluetooth cases available that have that integrated keyboard. This is where the iPad really starts to shine as a possible laptop replacement. With a keyboard case and mouse, if you prefer that over the touchscreen, this becomes more like a traditional computer than a tablet and it works fantastically for productivity apps. Now, as I mentioned before, the 2018 iPad is not as powerful as the Pro. It's just not. But that doesn't mean that it's not a powerful machine in its own right. It makes a fantastic on-the-go productivity machine for photo viewing, editing, drawing, and thanks to applications like LumaFusion, it makes a decent mobile video editor. In fact, this entire video that you're watching right now has been edited on LumaFusion on this 2018 non-Pro iPad. Now, no device is perfect, and one drawback of the iPad for productivity work is the screen size, which is only 9.7 inches. However, the same machine that you use on the go, you can bring home and connect to an external monitor and other devices. Now, one thing that people always tout about the Pro is that you can use the USB-C connection to connect all of these uh, external devices. Well, even though the 2018 iPad is only lightning, you can still use many external devices, including an external monitor. Now there are all kinds of adapters that let you hook up things like USB devices, SD cards, and even an HDMI adapter to allow you to connect it to an external monitor or TV. Doing this allows for a much larger view of what you're working on while still allowing you to use that same Bluetooth mouse and keyboard that you use while you're on the go. Now you are limited to the aspect ratio of the iPad, which is a limitation of the Pro as well, and there is a slight delay, but it does work. Last area I wanted to talk about is gaming, and there are a ton of games available in the App Store and some really fun ones in Apple Arcade, but there's another gaming option where this device really shines. If you have a gaming PC in your house and decent Wi-Fi, pairing a Bluetooth controller to the iPad and loading Steam Link app will allow you to stream the games from your more powerful gaming machine to the 2018 iPad. Now you will need a reliable and fast five gigahertz Wi-Fi, but in my experience, it actually worked really, really well for some moderately remote gaming. Now my point here is not that the 2018 iPad is better than the iPad Pro. The iPad Pro is more powerful, things are a bit easier with the USB-C versus the Lightning, and the larger screen is nice, but if you want many of the same capabilities in a much, much more affordable device, or you already own the 2018 iPad, then you can still have the options of getting many of these same capabilities that you can do on the Pro. 
Now, I hope you found this useful and informative. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. And if you really liked it, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Thanks a lot, and I will see you in the next video.